G'day Spurs fans, Paul Hotspur Hippie here, the only psychedelic soccer show on the internet. And I am seeing a word creeping back into the vocabulary of uh, people out there after uh, a disappointing performance, let's face it, that's <laughs> putting it mildly, uh, against Fulham. Spursy! Now look, <clears throat> I get it. I get other fans using that word. I even get the media using that word because they, they don't like Tottenham. And it's your job as a fan to take the piss mercilessly out of other teams, no matter whether it's credible or not. I, for one, frequently uh, brandish Man City as a bunch of boring cheats, and uh, Liverpool is having a discipline problem, and Klopp has lost it, and he's tired. He's beeping me out. Uh, Arsenal and Manchester United is having fake phony managers. It's your job. I wouldn't expect other fans to give a toss what I say, and I don't give, an other, I don't give a toss what other fans say about Tottenham. That's the way football works. It's just all a bit of harmless tribalry. But I don't understand, I really don't understand why Tottenham fans use the word Spursy. You take the word, the noun, that is our team, Spurs, you add one letter to it, which you love, I'm sure you would say you love your team. It inspires something in you. You add one letter to make it an adjective, and that means bottling load of old shite. Well, I'll tell you what Spursy to me means, folks. Spursy to me means eight FA Cups, four League Cups, two League Championships, three European Cups. Spursy to me means Steve Perriman, banging not one, but two long-range Exocet missiles past the Milan goalkeeper in 1972. Spursy to me is Danny Rose missing his penalty and the whole crowd singing there's only one Danny Rose. That's befuddling and confusing the hell out of Anderlecht. They didn't know what to do. Spursy is, uh, is Tony Park saving the penalty. And who'd have thought that? That's Spursy, man. Spursy? Spurs, he is Paul Gascoigne's free kick against Arsenal in, 90, in 1991 FA Cup semi-final. And more than that, Spurs, he is Gary Mabbott, a man that all of medical science said, you can't play football. No, Spurs, he is Gary Mabbott defying all that and lifting the FA Cup in 1991. Spurs, he is the many individual honours. Pat Jennings, Clive Allen, David Ginola, Gareth Bale twice winning the PFA Awards. Spurs, he is Glenn Oddle on his last appearance at White Hart Lane, scoring a goal for Soloey. These are all sp and running, in, running past the shelf and we all cheered. I think people are forgetting what Spurs he is. I think people are forgetting about what this club is. Spurs, he is Ange Postacoglu after we got a shellacking against Fulham, sticking it up the journalists and saying, I'm here to win. I don't care if you think that's a joke. I'm not here to be second, third or fourth or reach a final. I'm here to win. That's Spursy. That's Spursy. That's what we've got to get in our heads. It's not flaking and bod jobs. Let the other team say that. Don't describe your own team in terms of derogatory adjectives like Spursy. Spursy is goodness. Spursy is champagne football. Spursy is Ledley King. One of the best Footballers in England, he didn't even have any knees. That's Spursy. Spursy is being triumphant against all the odds. Spursy is being the, 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 the first non-professional team to win an FA Cup. Spursy's the first team to do the double. And these, you know, other fans say we never win anything. So there's another fan says Tottenham never win anything. That's an absolute, isn't it? Never's never. You ain't. We've won loads. That's Spursy. So pour your heads in, Spurs fans. I know, we, I know we're having a wobble, but we're on the path to goodness. I see, Spur if any criticism I can have in recent years, we haven't been Spursy enough. I want more Spursy. Spurs, 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 all over the place. 24 by seven, Spursy activity. Reclaim Spursy, hashtag reclaim Spursy. I'm not on Twitter. You'll have to do it. I don't know what it is. Don't use it. So you know what? I know. Uh, I know the game was, uh, was 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 
disappointing and dreary. But come on, folks. Come on, folks. It's like, oh, it's like bowing down to other teams. Oh, yes, yes, Man United. Yes, Arsenal. Yes, Liverpool. Oh, yes, Talk Sport. I'll call in. Yeah, we were Spursy today. Oh, can I be your friend? Fuck them! We're tight them up, Spur. We're the, we're the greatest football team the world has ever seen. That's what we are. I don't care if you believe it or not out there if you're a fan of another club. You should be all thinking the same about your other clubs. Whether it's Kidderminster Harriers or, I don't know, Western Sydney Wanderers. Every, every fans team is the best in the world and Tottenham Hotspur is no exception to that. Ah, oh, oh, the wailing and gnashing of teeth, the self-flagellation. We're going to pick ourselves up. We're going we're gonna to smash Luton. I don't know, man. One loss, one loss. And it's another Spurs Pocalypse out there. Spurs Pocalypse, Spurs Mageddon. It's the end of the world. Ange has got to change. Ange has got to do this. No, Ange doesn't have to do sod all. Ange is going to do what he's going to do. He's not going to do what you do. He's going to do what he does. That's what's got him. I don't know, was it about 11 major trophies so far in his career? He wins everywhere. He knows what he's doing. He knows ball. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. God. The faint-heartedness out there, the lily-livered, oh, I know we're rubbish, we're only little Tottenham Hotspur, can I be your friend? No, we're your enemy. We're, we will vanquish you. We will vanquish you on the pitch. Maybe not this season, but definitely next season. And we're going to do it in the spursiest, spursiest way possible. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to be one of these pragmatic, one-nil, boring old teams like Manchester City or Chelsea used to be before all the dirty oil money flooded away from their coffers. No, we're going to do it in style. We're going to be banging 6-0, 7-0 past teams. We're going to make them capitulate. They're going, to, they're going to pretend their bus has got a flat tyre on the way to the stadium. We're going to be so bloody spursy. That's what we are. So, you've heard it from me. Cut out this spursy nonsense, unless you mean it in a good way. Like Clive Allen banging in 5 million goals. That's what it is, spursy. Oh dear, oh dear. Spursy is what I want in my life. I want more of it. It's been a Spursy drought. I want it to rain Spursy. I want a bath in Spursy. I want to eat and shit Spursy. That's what I want to do. Not use it as some bloody prerogative, prerogative, bad word or whatever. We should be proud of being Spursy. That's who we are. We're Tottenham Hotspur and don't you forget it. Peace and love, man, and come on you Spurs.